Hey there, welcome back. Now in this video, I just want to show you that I've just taken a video recording with Camtasia of this particular fish, and this is what the video is all about. Now what we're going to do, we're going to put this into a CapCut video. So let's get right into it. Now go ahead and open up a CapCut project, and we're just going to do a very simple thing. We're going to add the video, add voiceover to it, and captions. That's about it, right? Of course, we are going to also add uh, a beautiful adjustment filter, but apart from that, nothing else, right? It's very simplistic. Now here, what you want to do, you want to import both the video as well as the voiceover. Let's start with the voiceover first. So this is the voiceover. The video is this one. So I can, to, I can pick two files at the same time. So I'm going to open them at the same time. And you can see that, that now they're actually for the other one. I don't know why it wasn't imported. Let me click import again. So I will go to the file itself and I'll just isolate it. Weird fish video. There is what I want. Okay, there it is. So what you need to add first and foremost is the video. So let's add the video itself. And what we want to do is I want you to switch to a format of YouTube shorts. Now, in order to do that, it's fairly easy. And I have a tactic that I want to share with you. Since this video is close to square, it's almost landscape size. So what you want to do is you want to choose a different size, right? Which is suitable for YouTube shorts, nine by 16 inches. Now, after you've chosen this, what you want to do is you want to increase the size of this just a little bit. Okay. Now this video doesn't have any voiceover whatsoever. Now, what you can do is you can right click and then actually copy and then basically click control V to paste again. Now it will paste another one on top and you can edit that one that's on top and make it bigger, but now we have to switch positions. Switch this one that's below to the top, the one uh, that's uh, in the background, move it at the cover. And what you need to do, you need to click the one in the background. And basically here, I'm gonna go ahead and use a, uh, basically I'm gonna use a blend technique. So if I scroll down to the blending, I need to change the blend. So if I click blend right here, I need to change the opacity to decrease it. I don't want it to be that opaque. That way they can focus more on this particular one that's in the front. The other one is showing in the back, but it's only a filler, right? They have to focus more on the one right here. And you can see that we have done it. Second thing is drag your voiceover. And as far as the voiceover is concerned, you still need to do a step. So now for the voiceover, I want you to add some volume to it. And I could use enhanced voice. This is a pro option. If you don't have it, don't use it. I'm going to enhance the voice to a maximum. Now, after enhancing the voice, what we ought to do is we can go and use adjustments. I'll leave it there for a second. I'm going to drag a custom adjustment. And basically, I would like to click this adjustment, just spread it across until the entire or until the final part. I'm going to spread it across until the end of the video. Then I'll actually go ahead, add some temperature, add some tint, add some saturation. I'm also going to add some exposure. I'm going to add some contrast and some highlights. And I'm also going to go ahead and basically add some whites. And now they have, they have auto adjust, but I'm not going to use it. Brilliance, sharpness, clarity, and of course, a vignette to make that background look cinematic. I'm going to add a 20, uh, 20 vignette and you can see that it looks pretty nice right now. So after we've added all of this stuff, what you want to do is you want to go, go ahead and add captions. So click captions right here and basically just go ahead and click generate captions. In the meantime, we can go and find some creepy music in Google by searching on Google and looking for a Pixabay video. So creepy music Pixabay, or actually instead of creepy, let's go for secret music, secret music, Pixabay. And music in Pixabay is mostly no copyright, so you can see here it's no copyright. Now inside of CapCut, you have an option to check for copyright, but only if the video is one minute long. Now here you can see we have some music. Now let's click this one and check it out. Definitely not. Let's check the second one. This one is perfect. Now let's download it. And it rhymes very well. It will do pretty well with the video. Now, our captions are ready. So what you need to do, first of all, is click captions right here to check if the captions are, if there is no grammatical mistake. So here, it says, ever seen a fish, da, 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 because uh, the sea is about the, remind, the barrel eye fish. Now, the barrel eye fish, we have to make sure we don't make a mistake with the name. So here, 
I meet the bear live fish, right? So the bear live fish, I have to copy the name and come back right here. And I have to make sure that I edit this name, make it correct. I think that's interconnected, right? So the bear live fish, remove extra space. And you can see here we have some more. So I'm the, the sci-fi movie, stronger, revealing, imagine, da, da, da. I'm just checking if there is anything, any mistake. And you can see that there is no mistake. All right. So there is no mistake anymore. We have fixed the mistake. So now take the captions and select all of them. And what you need to do is click text right here and basically go to templates. And once you do that, here is a thing. So you can check it. You can select a template that would do well. Now for these types of videos, I would urge you to select a template that, you know, shows text in one or two lines. So for instance, if we scroll down, I'm pretty sure you will find some very decent templates. There's pro and uh, free and pro. In my case, I'm going to use a pro uh, option, but I'm only going to use a one color, one color text, right? I don't want a uh, font or I don't want captions that have a lot of colors. Now let's just keep scrolling down, keep scrolling down. I think that I'm going to find it. All right. Or maybe I'm not. Now there's a lot of captions in CapCut. I think I found mine. I'm going to click it and I'm going to leave it in this position. I'm just going to uh, actually, it's pretty big. I'm not sure how I can make it smaller. Let's check this one and see if it's going to play in two lines. I need it to play in two lines. Now, let me try. Let's see. It's actually pretty good. I think that's as best as we can do. I don't think we can do any better than this. All right. Let's try some more. Let's see some more options. Let me check out more options, more options. Let's try this one. And then we need to add the creepy music. Uh, this one is great. This one is absolutely great. It's small. It's great. Now I'll leave it there, right? And I'm going to go here and I'm going to make sure that I go to import and I'm going to import the music, which we have just downloaded from Pixabay. So let's go to the music. Okay. So right now we've basically added the music. All I need to do is to paste the music in here. At the end of the clip, I'm going to click and basically select the music. You want to go ahead and delete, right? And then you want to take this music, you want to reduce the volume to an acceptable level where it doesn't interfere with the clip itself. And then we're just going to go ahead and export this video. So I'm going to click export right here. And you don't need to make it any more uh, complex, right? It's extremely good now. If you want to go for super resolution, you can go with it, for example, to make it better. If you have the pro option, I'm going to go for super resolution. And here, if you scroll down, you, you, you can see that you have the option to check for copyright. But that is only a good option if the video is one minute long. So if I click, it's going to show me couldn't run copyright check the video. Uh, uh, you know, couldn't couple, uh, couldn't run copyright check for video less than one minute. So this video has to be one minute long or longer. Okay, for for them to check copyright, and it's obviously pretty good. Now what you can do in order to outsmart them is you can take the music and you can expand it past the one minute mark, and then you can go over here and you can export. And you can just run a check just to see if the music has no copyright issues, right? So you can check it out like this. I think it should run it right now. It is processing because we have tricked the system into believing this is a one minute video. After it runs the check and it tells us that we're clear that the music has no problem, then we can just go ahead and cut, cut the excess. We can cut the excess and know for sure that this shouldn't have a copyright problem when it comes to music. Now, when it comes to the video itself, maybe you can get a copyright claim from the people that have uploaded that video of that uh, sea creature. But then again, I don't know because there is nothing safe with YouTube. Even if you think you're safe and there's no copyright, you still can get copyright. And sometimes people do very strange and very copyright infringing things and they never get copyright. I don't know, but do your due diligence. Now I'm going to cancel for a second just because I want to uh, delete that, you know, that extra music. And now I can export my clip knowing that my music doesn't have copyright. Now, mostly the problem would be with music because music is what gets copyright. Uh, now I'm going to go over here. It should be 30 frames per second, no more. And I'm just going to say uh, uh, strange, strange sea fish. And I'm going to export. Now it's going to take a while for this video to be exported. And once it is done, we can watch it together. Ever seen a fish with a see-through head? Buckle up because the deep sea is about to blow your mind. Meet the barrel eye fish, a creature so bizarre it looks like it swam straight out of a sci-fi movie. This fish has a transparent dome on its head, 
revealing its tubular eyes that stare upwards through its own skull. Imagine having X-ray vision, constantly scanning the darkness above for the faintest glow of bioluminescent prey. That's the Baralai's superpower, and it's unlike anything you've ever seen.